meanwhile, in the main lobby, uh, you can still hear the music singing and everything uh, coming from Nightingales. Uh, where would you like to go? The elevator, right? Yes. Okay, go into the elevator. Well, that's where they told us to find this person. Who Who's going with them? them? I'm going so, with them. Yay. I'm going to do a perception to see if I realize that they're gone. Okay. You are going with them? I am coming with you, God. <laughs> Perception is based da? on what? Yeah. Heinrich, always stay with you. Now, nah, forever. We could hold hands, too, if you want. No, that's okay. okay. 26. I wait. So I got a 26. You do notice that they are gone, but you do see dark moving around in the shadows. And I didn't see the guards take them. Do you tell but us, you do notice they are gone. Do you tell us that you see him in the shadows? Yeah. So, uh, scary dudes in the shadow, and the Shut masked up. dude, and the other guys, like, gone. Shut up. Hey, scary dude, where did they go? They got arrested. Wow, that sucks. They got arrested? That's what it sounds like to me. What did they do to get arrested? Do you know, they probably did a lot of weird things. They did nothing. They just... I have been around Al for a very long time. Some weird stuff mm -hmm. happens. Maybe... Not correctly. Maybe if we go up the elevator and find the information burger, she will tell us some information about how to help them. I don't think she gives information. I think she only takes information. Hmm. I've got a great idea. I'll Why don't here. you guys go up to the information broker and I'll go see why they got arrested. That's not a great idea. You're going to get in jail too and we might need you. I don't. Oh, I'll go to, I'll do it. They love me here. <laughs> they don't mind you. That's They're true. into wearing They skin. say you're harmless. Just don't put skin on. No, they praised the skin wearing. <laughs> no, they style. didn't like it. They said it was weird. Did they? Yeah. But they like the fedoras? They, I think they like fedoras. See, we'll yeah. go. It's fine. I'll go with them. It's all good. So the ladies get on the elevator. Yeah. The I'm bull the and the machine. I'm going with red. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rage against the machine Rage. goes to find are out what happened to the arrest. What are you doing? I'm staying in the shadows watching. Cool. All right. He's good at it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Is there elevator music? Ladies, get on the elevator. Music. Push the button for the third floor. Going up the elevator. This is my jam. <laughs> You're at the third floor. Stop. Open door. <laughs> All right. You see several armed men as the doors open from the elevator, but they don't seem aggressive. They do notice your presence, though. That was cool music. Um, we come out of the elevator, I guess. That makes sense. I'd walk around. I don't... Uh, I'm going to walk around. I don't have really good perception to see anything that we're... I guess uh, we can roll perception to find out where this uh, information... Or there's like a plaque on the wall? Okay. So roll for that. Just give a, give a test off your wisdom. Benchmark 25. Twenty-nine. Awesome. So you can tell that the guards here seem a bit sparse, but down the corridor there seems to be a several of them guarding one doorway. That to you would signify something important of presence mm -hmm. is in that place. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be heading down that way. Let's go talk to them. Excuse me, little lady. Uh, what do you think you're doing? She got a message to come find uh, this lady. This lady? You, you mean Miss Carlisle? The, sure. Is she the information broker? For, what's Shh, the we don't say that out loud. What do we say out loud? Miss Carlisle. Can we see Miss Carlisle? Fine. Uh, well, maybe. Do she you have any message? weapons? Uh, I just have this stick that helps me walk. So you're crippled? Not anymore. Because you have the stick now. Exactly. Oh, 
Well, that makes sense. Do you have any weapons? Um... Are they hidden? No. Do you mind if I pat you down? I kind of mind that. I don't like being touched. <laughs> hmm. Roll charisma. Benchmark 20. I don't know if I believe you. No, she really doesn't like being touched. That's true. She really asked that to the last guy that touched me. Didn't yeah. end, end well for him. She doesn't like being touched by strange dudes. Got a 16. Total? Mm hmm. I think you got a weapon on you. <sighs> I tell you what, we'll let your crippled friend go in. She can talk to Miss Carlisle. I don't have the message, though. She got the message. But she was, she's got weapons. I can tell. I can see it in her eyes. She's got a little twitch. I can see it in your eyes. If I she said, don't touch me, and it looked like she had a little itchy trigger finger. Yeah, she doesn't like being touched by strange men. But I don't want to be shot, either. Then don't touch her. But we also don't want Miss Carlisle to be shot, either. Why would we shoot someone? Well, I don't know. She Ms. has a lot of stuff, and a lot of people don't like her. Okay, fine. I'll see if we can, this lady can let you in. All right, so you enter the room. You see a uh, very exotic-looking, beautiful woman sitting in a business suit behind mm -hmm. a large desk. Nice like suit. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm a robot. It's mine. So. It's expensive. What can I do for you? My friend out here got a message from you. but they What's your friend's name? Uh, you know how many messages I sent out in Red? a day? Really know her name. Red. The treasure hunter? Yeah. But they won't let her in. She's right out the door. Billy Bob, let her in and <laughs> stop being stupid. <laughs> I, I think she's got a gun. I've got a gun, Billy Bob. Just shut up and let her in. Red, it's nice to see you. Nice to be here. Your skills are renowned throughout the multiverse. I hear your sticky fingers can get a hold of almost anything. Yes. However, there's one thing I think I might have that you need that you haven't been able to get a hold of. Mm. Okay, I'm intrigued. That's why I'm intriguing as an individual. I, I usually have information and stuff. What is it? It is another thief. I made her acquaintance, and I found out that she, too, was very good at stealing things. And I think if you two could work together, you may be able to get something for me that I need. Where is she? Ace, dear, come out. You see a beautiful red head, cool clothes leather corset kind of thing going on. Shiny dagger on her waist. <clears throat> Ace here I have hired. And I think that if you and Red are able to work together, you may be able to get something for me that I require. There is a data device that is being held on a world named McKenna. And what? You... McKenna. McKenna. If you can go there, make inverter. Sorry, the McKenna are the people. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. If you can go there and download the data that I need and bring it back to me, I am very, very interested in finding a, how should we say, profitable cure to a disease that is running rampant in the multiverse. A disease? Yes. What kind of disease? A What's shiny metal disease. <gasps> A disease? <laughs> There's a cure for this disease? I believe so. Is Information has disease? been translated to me from a good friend, and he has told me that he believes there is a cure for this 4-2 virus <gasps> on Macon Verda. I had that virus once. Do you still? No. That's good. I wouldn't want to have to kill you. I like my skin where it is. Ooh, why would I want your skin? 
You don't want to know what those four twos are responsible for. It's fashionable. So we have a, the rest of our group is somewhere else. Can we go find him before we go to this place? And how do we get to this place? The rest of your group. Who's... Yeah, we have more people. You think the three of us are going to go and find this cure all by ourselves? Wouldn't have to be a sassy whitehead boy and a glib fellow in a suit with a mask? Please tell me there's like more shots of it. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's a dude with white hair and a dude with a mask. Yes, these are their mug shots. <laughs> That's them. <laughs> the profile of the man in the mask seems almost the same as the straight shot. He, he's emotionless both ways. Do you... You ha- I guess you have them in jail. Cause they have been arrested. They threatened to kill everyone and take over and unify the multiverse. <clears throat> okay. Authority twisting um, your they're words. They're a part of our group, though. So I don't think they like the 4-2 virus either. It's all kind of on that same... If you can ensure that they get off of my station without causing any problems. I cannot ensure that, but I will try. <sighs> If you can ensure that they get off of my station without causing any problems, I will relinquish their freedom to you. Fair enough. We can do that. We can arrange for that. Very well. Ace, if you would, go with these people, help them, and return to me with the data that I desire. And in return, I will make sure that that purple skin floozy... I'll find him for you. And once we have his location, you'll get what you deserve. Okay. <laughs> I always love working with you. You're so amicable. <laughs> and again, thank you for removing the competition from this station. The Night Broker was a real blowhard, if you know what I mean. You killed the Night Broker? I wasn't there, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All okay. right. Are we going? Is the jail here or is it somewhere else? It is on the first floor in the back retention area. You just go there. Tell Hater that I said you could release them to your custody. We try now. Ewald is very. How should we say? Pragmatic, but. He should respond well, knowing that the orders come from me. Okay. All right. Meanwhile, Minotaur. Yeah. That's actually the name of this sequence. Meanwhile, the Minotaur. <laughs> Milk Dud, you have made it to the jailing sector. You see several guards that are standing out. Is that a bull? No, yeah. man, it's a dude. No, he's got horns. I'm pretty sure that's a bull. Do we hear this? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Just kick back in my bed. What's up, bull? I have to flex some so, can I, like, street. talk to your boss? For you a second. You want to talk to the magistrate? Yeah, I do. I think you guys. Do you have a crime to report? Uh, no, I think you guys, like, arrested two people that were wrong, and I need to get them. Uh, no, we've only arrested three people in the past hour. Yeah, and I think two of them were bad. Can I rest. see them in there? Two, two bad ones. Yeah. Yeah. No, you didn't mean to. You don't have to. I'm here to get them. Oh, so you're like in a intergalactic police? Yes. You're an execution. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Roll charisma twenty five. Am I in the same like? Can I see them in there? You're in the same vicinity. I can't see them. Uh, no, the cages are like around the corner. Kind of secured. They wouldn't want you to just walk up and be like, "Oh, look, prisoners." Twenty six. Can I? Can I? I believe you. You look like an intergalactic executioner. (laughs) Was your mother named Bessie? No. Was she named Bovina? Can I get to the two guys, please? Uh, well, you can go in and talk to Magistrate Hater, and and I'm sure y'all can work it out with all the proper paperwork paperwork. All right. Thank you. Go on. <laughs> you following him? <laughs> uh, stay here staring at the, the guy. 
<laughs> with your with your smiling mask and no eyeballs and hat. It's not smile. It's more of a. It's more of a subtle grin. No, it can, the mask can change grimace. depending on your charisma. No, it can't because it's like a, a real mask. It's not part of my face. Uh, Jim, is that thing staring at me? I don't think so. He doesn't look like he got no eyeballs. <laughs> That's even weirder, Jim. Don't you think? I mean, shut up, Colin. I'm sure he's just slightly handicapped or something. It's fine. I took People my are... hat at them. Oh, well, I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> my hat gives me charisma. And Tell you what, roll a 25. I rolled a one. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get a fa- Do you have any favors? No, I don't have any. Well, now you do. You do now. Yay. You're super creepy, man. Um, gonna have to ask you to come with us. I okay, come, now. Come back and stand in front of him and see. I take my Stop. mask off. Oh my! Good sense, one of them four twos! I told you! No, it's a four two! You're gonna steal my skin and wear it, I know you are! I lick my lips. I'm living a trip out! So I'm just gonna grab both of them by the throat and knock their heads together. Alright, give me a. For two of them, 30. Strength. I put my mask back on and get out my skin and knives. Oh my god! Uh, all right. That's twenty-one. Can I assist? Thirty-nine. <laughs> oh no! Their heads actually crack into <laughs> each other, oh, and this eyeball, like the eyeball on the <laughs> oh, side, it just kind of like pops out and starts to bleed as all they right. slump to the ground. I will heal that one with nano machine. Okay, wait, no, for dude, huh? no, we're good. Just don't do anything to him. And then you see a little silver monkey actually crawl up on Fedora 2's shoulder. Ooh, ah. Oh, yeah, he's the lady <laughs> the monkey, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Pulls out a long, well, tiny ninja monkey sword. Shh. Oh, ah. no. I have no idea what the hell's going on You're right good. now. You're good. <laughs> but I'm going to go oh, get those two. Oh, you missed the, the sword again. Ninja monkeys. Is the wolf dead? I can't remember. It's the like... wolf is here. Okay, good. All right. It's so, just down at the port because um, it couldn't fit yeah. everywhere. Well, Heinrich's with you, though. Yeah, Ja, oh, no. I'm yeah. here. Right. I'm right behind you, right here underneath your cape. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so I'm going to go in to, like, uh, moving kind of quickly now. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Milk Dud, the intergalactic minotaur <laughs> hunter. Um, <laughs> those two dudes are with me, and I need to take them and go, like, five minutes ago. Are you here to try to destroy the multiverse? As far as you know, no. As far as you know, are you here to do any death, chaos, calamity, or general shenanigans on my space station? No. I somewhat believe you. Good answer. 27 on charisma. (laughs) I really believe you are a good man. I I am. And they're good men too, and I need them. I don't so much believe that, but I believe that you are a good man. Yeah, I'll take care of them. We got, I'm going to... We gotta oh, go. you're gonna take care of them. Yeah, but not here because, because I wouldn't want to do that on the I space station. Yeah, no. So I'm gonna take them and go. So you're taking all three of them. Yeah, all three. Well, you said those were your friends in the cages. Yeah. Who's in the third cage? Well, there's two cages. There's a guy with the suit that's real creepy. What? Yeah, I'm gonna take him. And then there's the white-haired boy. Looks like he sings in a band. Yeah, I'm gonna take him too. And the weird witch doctor guy. What? Yeah, sure, I'll take him too. <laughs> All right, just sign the paperwork. All right. Show me your badge. Okay, I don't have a badge, so can I roll to intimidate him? <laughs> can I tip my hat? You're not in here. Shh. Oh. He, well, yeah, you, he is in here with you. Oh, nice. Yeah, tip your hat. I mean, there's no guards left to keep him out. That's true. I destroyed If you want to tip your hat and succeed, <laughs> then I might say that you could simulate a badge with your mercurial is that form. A one? Seven. 25 is what I'm going to have to ask you to bench it all up to. So, 
Take your exploit. I don't think I did. I'm tip your of bonus the with your mask. I get two to charisma, and then tip of the hat is one charge adds draw. I don't know what that means. Um, and then um, that's it. So I got a nine plus my charisma, which is six, which is 15. Which is not me. He holds out his hand and tries to form a badge, but just ends up looking really creepy because he also has a skinning knife in his other hand. Oh, yeah, I took those out. And some skin. I'm going to have to ask you to step away from the shiny gentleman. How far oh, away from Hater is now, Monkey? Where or, is the elevator? Monkey, I no. thought you said they were harmless. He doesn't come on, big officer. Right put now. your gun away. He's harmless. Remember? How, how far away from Hater Monkey from me is he? He does have a point. You did say that they were harmless. This is the fun part. I, I think it's around. probably best if you just shut up and let them kill the guy. <laughs> then we get out of the cage. We go on. Yeah, we're keeping him. I like the way he sounds. So I'm just going to screw it. I'm going to draw my axe and just split him in half so we can go. What? I was going Where is to... the elevator? <laughs> I'm a ninja. You're on it. 30. I'm taking the stairs. We're already in the elevator. It's just the slowest elevator ever. <laughs> Did not take us this long to get to the third floor. Damn it. Here. <laughs> Well, this is happening simultaneously. Um, Woo! 36. <laughs> you cut him in half before he's able to get a shot off in oh, Fedora 2. I like yeah. this guy. All right, cool. Um, I go over. Blood splatters all over the cages. I go over and I open oh, the doors. Cover your blood now. I just killed Hater. So um, I open your guys' door and we're going to go. <laughs> okay, but you'll take Akuji with you too. Yeah, I you're. take the dead body. Whatever. We take That's him too. That's super weird, man. You have a darkness about you. That's not okay. <laughs> you must get to be at peace with yourself. What's like this big darkness? furry guy. <laughs> he didn't want to kill the thing, but it was in his nature. It is my nature. All right. We discuss yeah, nature I when we go. I appreciate your nature. I, I like my nature, too. We need to, I don't want to kill any more okay, guards. Okay, let's go. All right. Well, actually, Off I do. to hunt some demons. Uh, What? We're going to go hunt demons, right? I actually have no idea what we're going to do now, but it's not going to be here. Well, let's go do that, but I'm going to totally hunt the demons with you. All right, cool. We'll hunt the demons. You're big muscular. I like that about you. Okay, where are we going? We go rerun. There's no. big... Uh, yeah, I'm, I just metal go back. Wolf, pretty ladies running off of elevator. What did Three you do? Them. Uh, hi. You gotta go now. What yeah, we should. We just, we'll discuss it at a later is... point. We should probably get on somewhere. Can we go we somewhere? We had permission to get these guys out of jail. <laughs> so did I. Snacks. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Got a point. An alarm is going off all around the station. Lights flashing everywhere. We could all put the skin on. It's like everything's fine. We're okay. It was all big misunderstanding. I don't agree with that idea, but it would be funny. (laughs) And we'll just walk out. Inhabitants of the Aquatoss, everyone report to safety stations. The station is under attack. Everyone report to safety stations. I repeat. I just... The megalith has been sighted. The megalith. Oh, it's not about us. That sounds fun. But we still still should put the skin on. Can I just calm? In case. Is it like well, a calm up to the us, boss's no. office? Uh, she has a PDA that she uses to talk yeah, with her. PDA the lady. Tell her one of our friends killed a dude. But no, still maybe you should. I just yes, opened the void portal. Let's but we're go. Still, yeah, ah. but there's a megalith. I'll come back to deal with You see several <laughs> men in their uniforms running past with guns. Get out of my way! They've reported sign troops everywhere invading uh, the station! Let's go! Yeah, I'm just gonna go into the portal. Yeah. yeah. But dead Stein troops, dark. <laughs> I don't care. 
<sighs> We're gonna go home. Stupid talking bull made us another mess, so we gotta leave. To make a bigger mess. You should have just stayed with me, man. Yeah, probably. Mm-mm. This is your brother's payment. He gets to help me kill Stein. So <laughs> welcome aboard. I can. Okay, let's take a vote. Do you want to go on the portal, or do you want to stay and fight Stein today? Okay, we when we talked to the lady who gave us permission to get y'all out of jail, she said we needed to go to this other world to find some information for her. So let's go to that other world. Akuji thinks that maybe we should fight the big evil man because he has demons that he has trapped. I'm sorry, who? Big evil man? Who are you? My name is Okuji. Was in the cell next to you. We didn't. We were told not to talk. Talk to who? Oh, each other. I assumed you two. Who are? Like, okay, Akuji. Your name. Yes. Who are you? Well, I am what you would call a Sangoma, a witch doctor, if you will. Okay. I am blessed with the purpose of scouring the multiverse and cleansing any souls of darkness. Evil. You seem like you got a lot of that in you. Gee, thanks. That's not good, boy. Would you like uh, to be healed? Oh, that's a deep question. Yeah. Heal <laughs> what exactly? All I'm going to say is, I heard this somewhere before. Don't do it, it's a trap. Yeah. You seem like you got the uku thwasa. Bless you. <laughs> the bad fever. Oh, man. Bless you. <laughs> you are going to be plagued by darkness, but if you come out of it on the other side, you can be a true healing power in the world. He's fine. <laughs> Why are you touching me? He said you had yeah, fever. It's something with an I'm end. calling his bluff. Look inside his eyes. I can see her looking back at me. <laughs> what do you see? You think? <laughs> <laughs> I look close. Thousands of tormented <laughs> You see, like, the really tiny, shiny blue pupils inside of his mask, like, focusing deep into your eyes. They look a little creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> no. um, Let's see. Uh, okay, so you don't want to get better. You're going to let demon eat your soul, and that's cool with you. She hasn't. Done me any arm yet. Okay, says the man that looks like he's anemic. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so we jump through this portal where we go. Meglotha. What's it called? McKenna. <laughs> Mackenverda? Yeah, there you go. We're going to Mackenverda. I thought you said McKenna. Those are the people that Those are the there. people that are there. Don't that, that, you ask too many said. questions that is for him. He said he just missed You asked too many questions for a minute. Nobody <laughs> asked you. I was all excited because so I grew up. She wanted us to go there. Of course that was before you killed her like, like head magistrate guy. Okay, but this was just on the she still wants it's us to go progress. there. Okay. I'm, I'm walking through. You would have yeah. liked her. She was Alright, nice what did you roll like Chuck? And I found 31. this other pretty lady with her. Thirty one. I noticed the other pretty lady. Yeah, because I know him. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Actually, I do know you, don't I? Yes. She's the cute little thief that stole the heart from you. Yeah. Oh. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> you guys know you? <laughs> yeah. See? Small world. You could have come with us. All right. Let's go to my... Okay. I'm so glad you found your ex-boyfriend, but let's go through the portal, right? All right. Can you take us to Mac and Berta? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ja, um, God, we are going through the portal to Machine World. You know, my have to put over your eyes. I'm squinting It's tough to wait it out. No one can tell that you are doing that. You have shiny metal face, yeah. boss. Okay, I take my mask off. I lick my lips. I like it when you do that. I just don't understand. That's the only expression I know right I now. I will too lick lips. Okay. Oh, that is creepy. Okay. <laughs> I won't do that anymore then. Oh. <laughs> so if we go, we follow them to Machine World, right? Yeah. Okay. Hop on Wolf. Wolfgang! Anderson, you still in there? Knock, knock. What? Okay, she has not run out of oxygen yet, boss. <laughs> <laughs> what has she been eating? 
Huh. You know what? Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream. Just ice cream. She's been living off hot dogs cream. from the vendor. <laughs> <laughs> she hopped out and got some hot dogs while y'all were busy. Hot dogs and ice Jinx cream. She gave her a whole bunch. She has cigars. There's it's like full of smoke in there. Hot hot boxing in there. <laughs> you see a machine wolf walking past and it just seems to be leaking smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Before I walk through, I go pound on that panel that I first started. Oh yeah, that guy. And see if Jinx wants to come with us. I think Jinx has has. Um, Is it Jinx or? <laughs> That's a bad word. So it's Jinx. It is Jinx. Okay, because J-I-N-X. it did not sound like that earlier. That's okay. why I was clarifying. It's Jinx. Okay. Hey Jinx, how would you like to go on an adventure with us? I mean, I'm not doing anything. I'm just eating hot dogs and. Sure, why not? Come on, let's go. Point. Okay, but. You gotta watch my back. We'll watch your back. Not too closely, that's weird. Hey. Hey. It's a nice so, stick. I know, right? So watch we walk, this. Whoa, we watch go this. through the portal. And, and make I, the dragon come out. And I close Crash it behind cute. us. It is cute, right? Hey, did you know that you were with the most famous thieves in all the universe? Um, I think they're pretty cool. Everybody talks about them red-headed thieves. Why are you whispering? So I, I walk. Them um, know I know who they are. I walk through and close yeah. it behind us. Oh, so we're gonna be stuck like wherever this is. That's no, what you were saying. You can make a door anytime. Okay. So weird. Besides, you're on an adventure with the two greatest thieves in all of time, right? And a really big bull guy. Um, kind of mm. weird, but okay. Cool robot with a mouth. And a fedora. And a mask. Okay. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'll just, um... She just sneaks closer to Dark's cape and kind of like... Oh, and skin. Snuggles up next to him. Should I put the skin on? No, Maybe that will make her more comfortable. It <sighs> it's human skin. All right, so the portal opens up, and when you step out, yeah. all you can see for as far as the eye can see is metal panels. There's a lot of metal panels, y'all. Mm. The ground, the earth that you're walking on seems to be itself some sort of a large technological globe. It is covered in tall towers, buildings of enhanced technology. Megalopolis? Megalopolis. I don't like this. There's no trees. (laughs) This is not my kind of place. See several beings walking around. Each of them seem to be robotic in nature. Small bears. Robotic. Okay. Oh, we're the only we're like with a bunch of robotic animals. Organic thing here? Do I see <laughs> hold on. Ah, uh, poop. Something zid me. Might have to kill it. So if it's non-organic, is it really killing or am I just recycling? I don't think we know that we need to kill anyone yet. Just chill. Okay. (laughs) So for perception, I got a 32. Mm -hmm. Do I see any panels that I could open to look into what I... I guess I'm looking for access ports. Do I see any? You want to yeah, hack into the system? Because we're looking for data. Yes. The answer is yes. You see access ports everywhere. So yeah. if you want to hack into one, I'm going to benchmark you at 30. Do we know what kind of data we're looking for? There's something about the cure. Oh, I, I the cure oh, yeah. for 4 2. The cure for the 20 4 2. Plus virus. Your... So 36 plus 2 plus 3 is 39. All right, so when you hack into the system, you actually are now communicating directly to the AI system that runs this planet, Emogen 2. Um, You know now as it speaks back to you. Hello, friend. You have come to this place. You seek information. What is it you're trying to find? Uh, 
cure for the 4-2 virus. Oh, yeah. We understand that there might be a way to stop the 4-2 virus, and we seek answers. <coughs> there is something of a mighty threat here upon our world. I have been trying to contain it for several cycles. The best way I can describe this entity is to call it a worm. It is devouring all non-sentient, non-biological sentience. Several of our community have been devoured and lost forever, their code completely erased. Oh no. If you were looking for a cure for a program, this worm might be your best advantage. But for me, you would need to remove it from Macanverda. Sorry. As <laughs> shuffle yeah, a little <laughs> jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? There are metal things here. It's fine. How, what ideas would you have to help us do that? Or where is it? The worm is currently within the core. It is plaguing the Wait very center of the Macanverda globe. Do you need a globe. computer worm or a giant Flesh worm. Probably computer. It's all code, dude. We're never on a machine planet. So how do we get to the code center I was thinking of the giant core flesh worm. of the thing? To the worm. There are access panels near the main city of Gongstadt. That would probably lead you to the point you need to reach in order to confront the worm and remove it from this world. Okay, point me in the right direction. And we will head to that port. A part of the panel shape shifts until it comes out as looking like an automated hand and goes. <laughs> okay. You are welcome. The grace of your machinery is very, very impressive, Monsieur Killian. Ooh, I know who you are. I may have to hack in and talk to you later. Would that be okay? I would be pleased. Mm. Thank you. You are Get welcome. Room. So we're going to go kill a worm. <laughs> hey, boss. Did you notice that everyone here is sexy? <laughs> <laughs> there are so many machine parts. It's <laughs> like being in heaven. You have finally taken me home to heaven, God. I knew you would. Yeah. You can hang out here if you want. There's a duration. Do you want me to stay? Yeah, if you want. And then you can start simulating these creatures. On it, boss! <laughs> Heinrich runs off into the crowd of machinery. You see machine bits. <laughs> these, All right. these, they're molesting them. That's what that is. He's taking care of some business. It's okay. I'm sure you'll be fine. All right. So, you have the directions that you need to go to the city. Uh, I'm sure everybody wants to make their way there post-haste. And we will find out what they find there when you join us again on the next session of Hands of Greed. Brought to you by Saturday Night Gaming. This is Tony asking you to click like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell all your friends and family about us. Go back and listen to our previous seasons, episodes, and all of the great material that Saturday Night Gaming has to offer. Until next time, this is Tony Stevens signing off.